Hi everyone, welcome to Daily Fredo. Elon Musk will turn us all into cyborgs, no joke. His Neuralink implant company wants to help restore vision and mobility to people by linking brains to computers. So basically putting a computer chip in your head. At the same time, Musk warns the planet of dangers of AI and pushes for pause in the development of this technology. All this sounds like a freaking Black Mirror episode. Let's dive in, cause there is a lot to unpack here. I believe in our times, if you're not a conspiracy theorist, then there is something wrong with you. And in this case of Elon Musk and the Neuralink, I believe we are witnessing the birth, the origin story of a supervillain. Let me take you back a few months to the time when Musk called upon humanity to stop any development of AI as things were getting very dangerous. We're rapidly headed towards digital superintelligence that far exceeds any human. I think it's very obvious. ChatGPT, I think, has illustrated to people just how advanced AI has become. And there are much more advanced versions of that that are coming out. I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Because if one company or small group of people manages to develop godlike digital superintelligence, they can take over the world. Look who's talking. So according to him, AI is much more dangerous than nukes. He also said that we need better regulation in AI and then this happened. On March 29th, 2023, in an open letter to political and business leaders around the world, leading figures in the tech industry, including Elon Musk, co-founder of tech giant OpenAI, called for a temporary pause in the hurtling advances of artificial intelligence. The letter, signed by AI experts including researchers, university professors, technology company executives and philanthropists, highlights the need to address the ethical and social concerns surrounding AI before moving forward with its development. AI systems with human competitive intelligence can pose profound risk in society and humanity, as shown by extensive as shown by extensive research and acknowledged by top AI labs. By the way, I am all for pausing AI development. There is a giant list of concerns for us, average Joes, when it comes to this technology. I can make a whole separate episode about this. But why am I even mentioning AI in this video? Well, because first Elon Musk very openly states that it is extremely dangerous and we must pause development of it. And two months later, suddenly he gets an all clear from the FDA to insert computer chips into human brains. Is it possible, and I am speculating here, okay, that he wanted AI to just wait for him, to be ready to use it on humans via the computer chips? What the f am I even talking about? 10 years ago, these words wouldn't even make sense to us. And again, is this my own theory based on all the recent developments surrounding Elon Musk projects? Well, yes. Is it so far-fetched? Not really. Anyway, Neuralink tweeted, we are excited to share that we have received the FDA's approval to launch our first in-human clinical study. This is the result of incredible work by the Neuralink team in close collaboration with the FDA and represents an important first step that will one day allow our technology to help many people. Recruitment is not yet open for our clinical trial. We'll announce more information on this soon. So here is where any person could be torn on what to think of this. From one side, it is exciting that a new technology is being developed to help disabled people. However, we know that powerful tools like that can get in the hands of the wrong people and be used for things that we can't begin to imagine. Anyway, I was curious to read people's comments. I can't believe that everyone thinks this is a great idea. If it was only going to be used to help people with disabilities, then it would be great. Unfortunately, we know that it is not the case. There needs to be legislation in place to protect people when the use of this technology gets out of hand. Absolutely, regulation has to be put in place. However, we've all seen boundaries, laws and regulations being broken in the name of evolution, science and development. It's always about money and power, okay? No matter how things are regulated, there is always going to be that one power hungry asshole ruining it for the rest of us. So another comment. Congratulations, there is more to Neuralink than meets the eye. I believe in its concept and what you are doing is amazing. However, I have the sneaky suspicion that Elon Musk is looking for eternal life via Neuralink so he will be able to see his ultimate goal of the colonization of Mars. And the user comments, if you believe Mars is his ultimate goal, I think you significantly underestimate his imagination and his drive. I am telling you guys, every supervillain has a touching story behind his creation. Few months ago, he unveiled Tesla Bot, a humanoid robot. 
Amongst many things, Musk said that a robot like that will eliminate dangerous, repetitive and boring tasks. Another user wrote, I love how there is an entire movie genre on why this is a bad idea. <laughs> Absolutely. Elon, AI is dangerous. Also Elon, builds future Terminator. So is it time now to give Elon Musk his super villain name? Guys, please, let's do this. Write in the comments how would you call this super villain if it was a Marvel comic. I will feature the best ones on my Instagram. Follow at Delifredo. Going back to Neuralink, let's watch the highlights of this Reuters video that explains in a nutshell what Neuralink is about. <laughs> Elon Musk's brain implant company Neuralink said on Thursday it had been given a green light from the US FDA to kickstart its first in human clinical study. It's a critical milestone for Neuralink after earlier struggles to gain approval. We're confident that it is. He looks like he's AI generated for some reason in this. I don't know. It's possible to restore full body functionality. To... On at least four occasions since 2019, Musk has said his medical device company would begin human trials for brain implant to treat severe conditions such as paralysis and blindness. Yet the company only sought Food and Drug Administration approval in early 2022 and the agency rejected the application, sources linked to the company told Reuters in March. The sources said the FDA had pointed out several concerns to Neuralink that needed to be addressed before sanctioning human trials. They include the device's battery as well as safety issues surrounding it. Hey, pay attention, it's kind of insane. There are literally wires going from like a battery. Obviously, I'm not a scientist. I don't know what that exactly is, but there is something going into your brain and then there are wires sticking out of your head, like It's wires insanity. and the protection of brain tissue. It's one of other monkeys. Thursday's FDA approval comes as US lawmakers are urging regulators to investigate the oversight of animal testing at Neuralink. Um, the company has already been the subject of federal probes. What you see here is a monkey controlling the computer with, uh, with his mind. That was really big deal back then. Still is. Including at least one linked to animal testing and treatment. A fun game. In a tweet on Thursday, Neuralink said it was excited to share the news of the approval, but that it's not yet recruiting for a clinical trial. Over the years, Musk has publicly outlined an ambitious plan for Neuralink. He envisions its devices to cure a range of conditions from obesity, autism, depression, schizophrenia, to enabling web browsing and even telepathy. And that both disabled and healthy individuals would be swiftly getting surgical implants at local centers. So what is the true concern here? That he will fail. If someone will play with human brains, he better does it absolutely error-free. But Musk's long list of failures makes people question how successful this experiment will be. First of all, during Neuralink trials on animals, they killed about one and a half thousand animals, including more than 280 sheep, pigs and monkeys, following experiments since 2018, according to records reviewed by Reuters and sources with direct knowledge of the company's animal testing operations. I'm not an animal activist or anything, but that's a big number. Monkeys died. But of course, it's not only about Neuralink. Musk does a lot of massively ambitious projects and experiments, and he's known for those things to be always bigger, more expensive, but not necessarily better. There are hundreds of failures to discuss here, but let me just list the top few to give you a rough idea. First, the Tesla bot that I already mentioned. Apparently, it was very underwhelming and had literally no new technology to it. Then the Hyperloop, a project that was dead on arrival. It essentially was supposed to be a high-speed train that's whisked through a tube. Musk claimed his proposed Hyperloop could replace the six-hour drive from Los Angeles to San Francisco in just over 30 minutes. Experts started calling him out on it, proving that it's impossible and super dangerous. Then we had Solar City. While at some point Musk's company was the biggest name among solar panels, the product itself was faulty and received a lot of complaints. And to avoid bankruptcy, Musk used his other company, Tesla, to buy it out for $2.6 billion. This brought him legal troubles, of course, but we won't get into details right now. And one of the biggest fails, Vegas Loop, that was literally called a death trap. It was supposed to be a fast and convenient transportation, a 99-mile tunnel under Las Vegas that cuts down 45 minutes walks to two minutes ride. However, uh, got traffic in the tunnel, huh? 
Yep, well, on conventions like this, there's so many cars running. AKA Death Trap. Fun fact, Starlink, one of his companies providing satellite internet service, is finally coming to Cyprus. Do we need it here? Yes. Can we afford it? Questionable. Standard prices for internet in Cyprus are three times lower than the cost of Starlink, which falls at around $500 for installation and around $100 for monthly payments. So most probably when Starlink arrives, all other providers will have a good reason to raise their prices as well. Remember I called it. Unquestionably, Elon Musk is a freaking genius. I am not saying otherwise. I also feel like I have to put a disclaimer here. I'm not a scientist. I don't claim to be smarter than anybody. I just say what I think. But this chase of AI, brain chips, testing the limits, it's a dangerous game and it's us average humans that will pay for it in the end. There is so much to cover that's hard to fit in one episode, but I really want to know what you guys think. Do you think Elon Musk wanted AI industry to slow down just so he could catch up and be ready to implement it in his Neuralink brain chips? Could half human and half robots become our daily reality sooner than we think? Let's talk in the comments under this video. And if you want to see more content from me, here are two videos that I think you will find very interesting. And tap here to subscribe and turn on notifications to never miss a new episode of Daily Fredo. That's all for today. Have a good one. And there's so many uh, social media accounts out there that are not people.